When our core muscles are strong, we feel more stable in our body. Our spines feel more supported and we feel more balanced on our feet when we're walking around. Having a strong core is not about getting six pack abs. It's about feeling confident in our body's ability to manage all of our day-to-day -day activities with enough natural energy and without pain. Which is why today, I'm excited to share three exercises you could do seated in a chair to strengthen your core muscles so you feel more supported and stable in your body. Hi, I'm Jesse McMaster, holistic fitness trainer and yoga teacher, here to share tools that allow you to take your health into your own hands. And this seated core workout is the perfect thing to add into your fitness tool belt. Now, if you find this video helpful, please help me by liking the video and maybe subscribing to my channel for more mind, body, soul fitness tips. All you need for this workout is a chair and a yoga block or a small pillow. Please take a moment to arrange your space and gather what you need. And when you're ready, we're going to start by setting our yoga block or pillow off to the side and just organizing ourselves in our chair. So scoot forward so you're on the edge of the chair and make sure your feet are flat on the floor. We're going to begin with a little warm up just to get in touch with our bodies, get in touch with our breaths. So hands on your thighs, we're going to inhale, lift the chest to the ceiling and pull the shoulders back. And then exhale, we're going to round the spine, drop the head. Now, as you lift your chest, as you pull your chest forward, think about kind of pulling on your thighs a little bit. Shoulders back, really open up the front of the heart. And then exhale, you can push on your thighs as you round your spine, pull your belly button in, tuck your chin. And do that again. Try to get your whole spine to participate in the movement. Exhale, we round and flex the spine. Now, from the side, it looks like this. Inhale to create a back bend, pull those shoulders back, exaggerate the movement as much as you'd like, and exhale, go ahead and round. We're gonna do this a couple more times. And remember, this is part of our warm up, so find what feels good for your body. All I ask is that you really connect to your breath. Inhaling through your nose the best you can and exhaling to make a little bit of sound. Now that sound might be like a through a little straw. That sound might be more of like a kind of like you're fogging up a mirror. Really, whatever sound needs to come out so that you are connecting with your body. Now we've got about three more of these spinal breaths. And if you'd like to add more, we can add some arms. So as you arch your back, you might pull your elbows back, lift your heart. And then as you round your spine, you can punch your arms forward. And do that again. Inhale, lift the heart. Remember, this is totally optional. Just find what feels good for you. Exhale, and we round. Oh, and let's do one more. Find what feels good for your body. Getting in touch with right here, right now, so that we can connect to this core strength. All right, sitting up nice and tall, let's go ahead and grab our yoga block or our pillow, and we're gonna hug it between the thighs. Now, the reason we're doing this is to give our inner thighs a job, because when our inner thighs are hugging together, and you might even try this right now, hugging those thighs together, it actually creates this connection to a center line. Inner thighs connected to the deep pelvic floor muscles, which is really the bottom of our core, which helps us draw in our lower belly, kind of like a zipper, up through the belly button, zipping us up. That's why I like to use this adductor squeeze or this inner thigh squeeze. Now our first exercise are pelvic tilts. In this exercise, there's not a lot of outward movement. This exercise is more about learning how to use your breath to connect to your deep, deep core muscles. The way this exercise works, we're gonna hug those thighs together. I'm turning sideways because it's just a little easier to see me here. We're gonna inhale as we sit up tall. Exhale as we pull the belly button in. I like to think about snapping the belly button in towards the spine, and we're gonna tuck our tailbone just a little bit. Doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Now I'm trying to keep the front of the tummy drawing in, like there's a porcupine in my lap, and I'm ugh, trying to get my belly away from that porcupine. But since I'm trying to keep the front of the tummy tight, I gotta inhale into my sides of my ribs. And then I'm gonna exhale, pull my tummy in even tighter, and then I sit up. 
and we'll do that again. So we're gonna inhale as we sit up, exhale. Snap the belly in. I like to do an audible exhale to make that happen. And I round a little bit. Upper body is relaxed. Inhale, sides of ribs. Exhale, pull my belly in more. And then I sit up. This is all happening deep, deep on the inside of our bodies. Inhale here. Exhale, core snaps in. I'm going to rock back a little bit. My priority is to keep the front of my tummy drawing in. Pelvic floor muscles drawing in. Make sure you're squeezing those inner thighs. Inhale, ribs. Exhale, I keep my core drawing in. And then I sit up tall. Take a big breath. Exhale, core snaps in. I'm going to tuck my tail, rock back. Remember, pelvic floor muscles are, are drawing in also. Inhale, sides of ribs. There's plenty of space over here. Exhale, core draws in, and I sit up tall. Ooh, we're going to do that four more times. Inhale, ribs. Exhale, front of the tummy snaps in. You rock it back. An audible exhale will help a lot. Inhale, ribs. Exhale, core draws in, and then you're going to sit up. Inhale, sitting up tall. Exhale, core draws in. Squeeze your thighs together. We want those inner thigh zippers zipping up towards the pelvic floor. Pelvic floor zipping up towards that belly button. Inhale, stay. Exhale, draw your core in and sit up. We got two more. Exhale, snap that belly in and rock it back. Now, I know this seems like a very, very simple exercise. It is, but it is highly effective because we are using our breath to engage with our core strength. Exhale, we sit up tall. Let's do one more. Inhale here. Exhale, core draws in. Squeeze your inner thighs. You're going to rock back. Can you hold it? We're going to inhale ribs. We're going to hold it. Exhale, can you lift pelvic floor more? Can you draw belly in a little more? Nice. One more breath. We're going to inhale ribs. Exhale, core draws in, and you're going to sit up tall. Now, in between those core exercises, I want you to give yourself a big belly breath because we can't hold those abs tight all the time. And what's really important for our core strength is that we are allowing the breath to get into our abdominal area. Because once we're allowing the breath to move in this area, so as we inhale, it expands like a balloon, like we're inflating a balloon, and then as we exhale, it draws in. And the more I allow my abdomen to move with the breath, the stronger my core muscles will get. So sometimes you gotta practice a few belly breaths in between your exercises so that when we are in those core exercises, you can keep the front drawing in tight. All right, shake those shoulders off a little bit. Our second exercise, we are gonna work into the sides of our trunk, which are our obliques. So please organize yourself in your chair. Sit up tall, feet flat on the floor. Make sure you're on the edge of your chair. We are not leaning into that backrest. Right arm down by your side. If you need to grab the side of the chair, that is okay. Back of your left hand to your forehead. Now, we're gonna side bend over to the right. We wanna keep that left hip planted, that left foot planted, those thighs squeezing together. So my lower half is nice and stable and solid. And the side bend is really just happening from my ribs already, just holding this position. You should should feel your obliques connecting. Now we're going to inhale into this open rib over here. Exhale. Can you lift your pelvic floor? Can you pull your belly in? Let's do little pulses. Five and four. Squeeze your thighs together. Three shoulders down. Two. Smile the collarbones. One. Bring it back to center. Let's switch and do the other side. Side bend. Lower half is stable. We're not leaning. Okay. Lower half stable. It's just kind of my ribs going over. Inhale, open rib. Exhale. Huh, I want to pull the front of my tummy in. Little pulses. <sighs> Squeeze those thighs together. Five, four. Relax your face. We want to channel the energy, the strength into the core. Last one. Bring it back to center. Let's give ourselves one of those big belly breaths. Now, as we go through these exercises, if you're feeling like you could use a little more instruction on how to use your breath to connect to your core strength, check out the description for my breath core program where I walk you through step by step how to do this and how to really build core strength using this magical tool that is your breath. We are going to do that side bend again. So right arm down, back of the left hand to the forehead, shoulders down. We're going to side bend. Let's take a moment, make sure lower half is grounded, opening through the upper body. Inhale into that open rib and let's do pulses. <sighs> Now, obviously, my inhales can't be really big here. They're kind of a little more on the shallow side. That's okay, but I'm focusing. <laughs> drawing pelvic floor, drawing belly in three, and two, and one. Bring it back to center, other side. Here we go. We're going to side bend, squeeze those thighs, pull the front of the tummy in. I'm trying to catch my breath here. And then we're going to side bend. <sighs> 
You got to stay focused. And if you want a stronger core, it really takes this amount of focus because this center of our body can get really mixed up. Lots of mixed emotions, lots of mixed feelings. Three and two. So we really got to focus, get our mind to connect with these muscles, bring it back to center. Big belly breath, let it move. And a big exhale. All right, move number three. We're going into a twist. Twisting helps to train our abs how to support our spine, which is one of the abs main jobs, right? To keep our spines nice and supported. So I'm still hugging my thighs together. We're still on the edge of the chair, feet flat on the floor. Sitting up nice and tall, take your right hand, grab the side, either the back of the chair here or you know something on this right side. Left hand's gonna grab the outer right thigh. Let's make sure that left hip stays planted. I don't wanna shift that left hip forward. So both of my hips, if I had headlights on my hips, both of those hips are gonna continue to point forward. I'm not gonna let them shift, okay? Once again, the movement comes from my ribs. So it's my ribs and my upper half kind of twisting and you might not move very much and that's okay. So I want you to find this position. Now we're gonna take our fists together right here at our chest. Your thumbs, I want you to glue them onto your chest. Pull your belly in, lift your pelvic floor, squeeze your inner thighs. You can turn your head kind of looking over that right shoulder, but we're still lifting pelvic floor, zipping it up, pulling that core in. We're gonna do pulses for five, and four, can you get taller as you twist? Shoulders down, two, pull that belly in, one, bring it back to center. Let's do the other side. So I like to start by bringing my left hand behind, right hand to my left thigh. Take a moment, make sure you're not shifting the hips, right? Keep those hips planted. Squeeze the inner thighs, take a big breath in. Exhale, zip up pelvic floor, pull your belly in. Fists at your chest, thumbs are glued to your sternum, shoulders down, little pulses, five. And four, we're not yanking anything. You're using your core muscles to make this happen. Last one, and bring it back to center. Let's do that again. So we're gonna twist to the right, take a moment. Hips are planted, we're not letting the hips shift. Pull the pelvic floor up and in, pull the belly in. Fists at your chest, thumbs glued to your sternum. Squeeze those inner thighs nice and tight. Little pulses, lift the pelvic floor, five. And four, try to get taller as you twist. Three, two, and one. Bring it back to center. Let's twist the other way. Squeeze those inner thighs, maybe reorganize. It's okay to take a moment. What matters is getting your brain to communicate with these core muscles. All right, fists at your chest, shoulders down. Lift the pelvic floor and we twist. Five, four, squeeze those inner thighs. Three, two, and one, bring it back to center. All right, remove your yoga block for a sec. We are gonna go through that whole workout, that whole little circuit one more time. But first, go ahead and open up your legs and just kind of stretch it out a little bit. One of the worst things that we can do when we are trying to strengthen our bodies is to get really stiff and tense. And sometimes when we are learning something new, we really start to think about it and things get tense. And so I want you to take a moment and just kind of I don't know, wiggle it out. It doesn't have to make sense. <sighs> just take a big breath. All right, we're gonna go through that whole little circuit one more time just to close out our workout. So yoga block or pillow in between your thighs, please. We're gonna start with our pelvic tilts. Hands on your thighs, you're gonna inhale, you're sitting up on your sitting bones. Exhale, you're gonna snap your belly button in, pelvic floor in, you're gonna rock back a little bit. Inhale, sides of ribs. Exhale, pull the core in and you're gonna sit up. We're only doing five. Inhale here, squeeze your inner thighs. Exhale, snap that belly in and rock back. You're holding it as you practice to breathing into the sides of the ribs. Exhale, pull your core in and sit up tall. Relax your upper body, focus on your core. Inhale here, exhale, core snaps in, we rock back. Squeeze those inner thighs. Inhale, ribs. Exhale, core draws in and you sit up tall. Two more, take a big breath. Exhale, core draws in, squeeze those inner thighs, rock it back. Inhale, ribs. Exhale, core draws in and you sit up tall. All right, last one, take a big breath. Exhale, core draws in. We're gonna hold this one a little bit longer. We wanna inhale, ribs. Exhale, front of the tummy draws in, draw it in, draw it in, squeeze those inner thighs. Inhale, ribs. Exhale, draw the core in and sit tall. Give yourself one big belly breath. 
and a big exhale. All right, let's go into our side bends. Right arm down, back of the left hand to the forehead. We're gonna side bend. Make sure the lower half is stable. Pull your belly in, lift your pelvic floor. Squeeze your inner thighs. Little pulses, five, four. Squeeze those leg legs together. Three, two, and one. And we switch sides. Side bend, double check. Make sure also that you're not flaring the front of your ribs forward. Draw the front of the ribs back because we got abs attached into there. So we want the ribs lined up directly over the hips. Let's do those side bends, that little pulsing five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back to center. Hips are planted, fists at your chest. We're gonna go right into it, shoulders down. Squeeze those thighs together. We're gonna twist. Remember, your thumbs are glued to the center of your chest, so we're not letting the arms go further. And you might not move a lot, that's okay. Lift the pelvic floor, pull the belly in, little pulses, five and four. Try to get taller as you twist, squeeze those thighs together and bring it back to center. Other side, twisting to the left. Make sure that right hip is not shifting forward. Pull the pelvic floor in, pull the belly in. Try to get taller as you pulse. Five, four, three, and two. Last one, bring it back to center. All right, give yourself a big full belly breath and a big exhale. Bring a hand to your heart. Your other hand can either rest on your lap or you can put a hand on your belly. You might look down at the floor or close your eyes and just take a breath. Gift yourself a moment to absorb and integrate that inner support, that inner strength. Before you rush off to wherever you're going next, just take a breath. Let it absorb. Let the muscle memory really soak in. Thank you so much for sharing your time and sharing your practice with me today. Once again, if you found this workout helpful, please help me by liking and subscribing. And if you want more tips on how to connect to your core strength using this magical tool that is your breath, make sure you check out the description. There's a couple links in there that'll really help you out. Thank you for taking the time to connect to your inner strength and hopefully I'll see you soon.